So these are the parts I need. Um, so the hexagon, 100.9, 100 100.3, 103.1. This is the same, 103.1. The pentagon, 100.9, same length of strut as the hexagon and then 87.15 then i have half hexagons for the uh, bottom row um, which i changed slightly this this length is slightly shorter to compensate for the otherwise i would not have a flat um, base uh, these are uh, for the half door hexagons, so the door is uh, cut out of one of the hexagons, uh, so still another um, size. And um, I've cut all my uh, timber, so I had timber of 330. Um, these are all the, all the part numbers, all the sizes, and then I cut uh, 66 times 105 to become 1 1.103, 60 times 103 to become 100.9 or 99.8, so these shorter struts, and then 32 times 88 uh, to become 87. Um, so that, that gives me a little um, play for uh, cutting um, the right angles. Uh, this is this is a, a, a very simple drawing. So I have a timber of uh, four point five centimeters square, and I cut this um, on an angle to get the bevel for the dome. Um, this is this is another for the door triangle. Um, I changed it a little bit. Do this roughly cut to length. And uh, 45 by 45 millimeter beams, so this is 45, have been cut in half at an angle of about 6.7 degrees. The 6.7 is uh, more or less half at the dihedral angle of my geodesic dome. So when you put uh, those two together afterwards, you get the dihedral angle. The dihedral angle is the angle between two adjacent faces. And this is how the entire dome is made.